Danny Flexen here for seconds out with the latest edition of Flexpectations, our weekly look ahead to the boxing action coming in the weekend. We're here every Thursday at 4.30pm and this week, appropriate enough, we're at the Courthouse Hotel in Shoreditch, which not too long ago was the venue for the final press conference for the Friday Next Gen show um, put on by Matchroom and headlined by Conor Ben against Juicy Kovula. Um, not expecting a huge test for Conor Ben, although it is being talked up as a step up for him. Um, Koivula seems to have lost each time he stepped up in class beyond kind of his own domestic level. Um, but saying that, Ben hasn't been out for a while. We've seen him struggle in fights he's expected to win, like the first Cedric Payno fight, for example. But he's still got that unbeaten record. It'll be interesting to see him against Koivula um, over the distance, see how he gets on. He's at the press conference, he was talking about putting on a, an explosive performance, so we'll see how that goes on. And if he can't put him away, Koivula away early, how will that going forward? But for me, the big fights on the show are two others lower down the card, or slightly lower down. Ted Cheeseman in his first fight since losing European title challenge to Sergio Garcia back in February. Defends his British belt against Kieran Conway. Should he get through that, he'll be going up against Scott Fitzgerald, who recently upset Anthony Fowler. Interesting in that Cheeseman, as first revealed in the Born Fighter series on Matchroom's YouTube channel, and then um, went into more detail with me on an article that's published currently on the Seconds Out website, which I'd encourage you all to read, not just because I wrote it, but because Cheeseman, very candid about the gambling addiction and problem gambling he suffered in the build-up to the Garcia fight. And indeed, for most of the last six years, gambled away his purse before the fight had even started. And towards the end of the fight, when he was walking in with his hands down, getting knocked around by Garcia, he was mentally punishing himself for the way he'd messed up his career to date. He's had help. He goes to support groups. He's still only 23. Hasn't had a bet since April. So he's conquering his problem. We wish him all the best with that. Conway's come with a lot of ambition. He said at the press conference he feels he should be the favourite for the fight. I dispute that largely because there's no notable names on his record and he's never made the £154 super welterweight limit. So I have questions about why the fight was actually approved by the Board of Control, but that's a separate issue. He, is, he has come with ambition. His only defeat was in the Ultimate Boxer three-round tournament in which he lost in the semi-final to the eventual winner, Derek Asazi. Um, so he'll come to win, but he's a bit of a boxer and a mover. Cheeseman will be looking to use intelligent aggression to break him down. And I would favour Cheeseman to do just that. I think he's fought at a much higher level. Even before the Garcia fight, he beat the likes of Asinia Byfield um, and some other good guys at domestic level. Um, Tony Dixon was another one that springs to mind. I know they're not the only two. And Cheeseman actually listed some of them at the press conference. So as my memories failed me, it'd be worth having a look at that. Um, I would expect Cheeseman to get the job done in the second half of the fight, but definitely an interesting one to look forward to. As is the South London derby between Craig Richards and Andre Sterling. Andre Sterling 10-0, and coming off that off-the-canvas victory uh, against Ricky Summers on the Eubank de Gale bill. Previous to that, beat Kirk Garvey, um, just edged him on points for an area title, I believe. Um, and then you've got Craig Richards, who since moving up to light heavyweight, um, after the short notice defeat to Frank Bullioni at the time has strung together four stoppage wins, um, the last of which came against Jake Ball, third round, knocked him down once in each round. Very impressive um, win for Richards, kind of let Ball come in, try what he wanted to do and then counter punch with real authority to get the stoppage victory there. Really interested to see who's going to win that one. For me, it's a 50-50 fight, although the bookies have got Richards as a decent favourite. I say it's a 50-50 fight, certainly on paper. They're a similar age. Similar groundings. Richards maybe fought slightly the better opposition so far, but Sterling is unbeaten and will come with the confidence of that. And he's quite rough and tough. He likes to hit the body. So it'll be interesting to see how those styles mesh together. Um, so Friday night, definitely looking forward to that next-gen show. We'd like to hear what you think. What's the fight you're most looking forward to on the show? Um, what do you think of Cheeseman's problems and how he's working to overcome them? And also, what about that South London derby? Who's going to win that? And, and what sort of level do you see Conor Ben at now? You know, should he get past Koi Vula? Is it a British title shot, European title shot perhaps? Let us know what you think of his progression. We'll be back next week, Thursday, 4.30pm. And we'll also be here Monday, or I will be here Monday, 4.30pm for Reflections. And by here, it's probably more likely to be my um, humble abode in Snodland rather than here in the luxurious courthouse hotel. They're not paying me to say that. I'm just genuinely impressed by the ambience. I'll see you next week and thank you for your time.